Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, it's actually going to be a different setting. As you can tell, I'm here sharing my salon experience and showing you guys my color transformation. So I went back into the K. Louise salon and boutique. This is where I got my cut initially three months ago now to have shape put into my hair. And I made the appointment right after my first cut to get a trim. I've been keeping up with making the appointments every three months out because I am growing my hair out, but I do want it to maintain shape as it grows out as well as keep up with the ends. I feel like that's definitely what led to a hair setback the last time is not keeping up with my trims and cuts. Um, so that I could keep my ends in optimal health. So I went ahead and booked another curly cut. And as you guys can see, Kara is cutting my hair in its dry textured state so that my hair will be able to have great shape in its curly state. Now, if you're not wearing your hair primarily in a textured state or in curly styles all the time, you could probably go ahead and book her regular cut service, which is a little less than the curly cut, which is a little bit more um, in complex and in depth because it's shaping my hair curly. But for now, I really don't have any desire um, in the near future to straighten my hair. So I really, really, as much as possible, want to keep my hair curly or wear it in stretch styles but still textured so that's why i opted for the curly cut which is not quite the same as a diva cut um, but I really, really like the results of this cut, and she does have experience in both the Weed Ed and the Diva Curl styles of cutting. Um, so I love that she's bringing that experience to it, but has kind of customized it for her clients and for what she feels is best with her cosmetology experience. So I definitely loved my cut, and even when we lightly blew it out for my color, as you'll see later in the video, you can see that if I did want to straighten my hair, it still has a nice shape to it. So I'm basically just making Making sure she's basically just making sure any ends um, that need to go are removed as well as refining the shape that I want to go for and I did make it clear to her the last time I was here and reiterate again this time that of course I want to grow my hair out but we both are kind of on the same page as far as while I'm growing my hair out I want to keep my ends in shape and I want to keep shape to my hair I don't want my hair to just end up long but shapeless like it did the last time so now her styling assistant is blowing my hair out because we're prepping for color and this process does require that your hair is in a stretched blown out state now in the instance that you're not getting a cut service from the salon you can totally do this step at home what i will say is that even though um this was a blowout light heat was used and it was definitely pretty gentle i i have to admit it was like very surprising that it was as gentle as it was um and it wasn't like my hair was being like burned as much as possible and sometimes when i've been to like old salons in the past yeah they they go in with the blow dryer so i love that that was not the case especially since i was getting ready to get a color service i didn't want to feel like my hair was being kind of damaged before i'm getting ready to go in with color now i am going for an ombre look today which is going to require lightning and i'm not sure of what the specifics are on what color was used i do know it is a salon quality color system and i did see some of the boxes and i believe the color system that was used was redken guys but i could be wrong if you guys want to know you can reach out to cara um or dm her and ask any questions that you have um, about the color type if you would be too far to book an appointment with her yourself or want to know for what specifics to give a stylist in an area near you um definitely i would leave her info in the description box of this video because i don't know and i also don't have a box color that i can recommend that's going to give you the color that i'll end up with at the end of this video now when i was getting my color done i did also add on the upgrade service of olaplex which means that it's a um, bond multiplier um, so that the bonds of the hair stay strong, the elasticity stays intact, and it will reduce the damage um, that is done in the color 
processing. So I opted to have that on. It's a three part system. There is a serum that's added to the color and then there is a conditioning treatment after the color. And then finally there's an at home treatment which the salon gave to me and that I'll be using in the coming weeks to maintain my um, hair's health at home. So definitely it's very cool. If you've never gotten a color treatment in salon or you've done box color but you want something similar, they do sell the step three only color system of Olaplex at Sephora and I did check with Cara and it is the real deal um, and it won't be to the same level as the Olaplex system in salon but it is a good treatment to incorporate into your hair routine if you have color treated hair and you're trying to prevent any damage from it so she basically just started working up on the ends and kind of went in tears because she was going to make sure that the color gradually transitioned the very very ends were going to be the lightest and then that middle color was going to kind of ease into a darker brown and then finish with my natural color at the roots and so from here on guys i'm going to just let the video play and let you guys kind of watch your process and i'll be in here and there if i have anything additional to say but for the most part you guys can just kind of check out the process of what happened in salon. So after 20 minutes, this is what my hair looked like and now we're going back through and toning it to give the color dimension and an overall better look and color. This is apparently just what your color will look like once the hair has been lifted. This is not the final color, um, so it had to definitely be toned and Carl went through and did just that. Now what I will say is a downside of color and I only have two is that it is pricey especially if you're going to get it done right but i didn't want to take a chance and get it done wrong because fixing it can be even more expensive and it does take a long time and i've kind of gotten spoiled to get an in and out of the salon especially because the last time i just got a cut um so it did take a lot longer to do this process but the maintenance of it will be much easier this was only because i was doing the initial process and it did take a little longer um in total with cut and color i'd say it took about three and a half hours um total uh maybe maybe four and i have a lot of hair though too guys so you have to take that into consideration and the fact that I got two things done, color and cut, and um, yeah, so definitely think about three and a half to four hours um, total. So we went ahead and let the toner sit for about 20 minutes as well, and then I was shampooed, um, given the oleoplex treatment, conditioned, and this was the finished initial color, and my hair was styled in a wash and go, so as you guys can see, the curls are still intact. Um, I was able to preserve my curl pattern. And honestly, guys, my hair feels thicker than it has in months. I definitely can see a difference. And then here's what my hair looks like, not under light or not in direct sunlight, but indoors. And what I will say is after about two or so weeks, my hair has actually gotten even lighter. So it's more, um, it looks more like the initial photo that I posted that looks a little lighter than these photos, but now my hair actually looks that way indoors and in the sun because I think the sun has slightly lightened it. All in all guys, I love the color and I've had a great experience with this salon. All their details will be in the info box. Thanks for watching guys and as always, I'll see you all next time. Bye.